Coming up, the Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man, No Way Home, Green Goblin. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios' Spider-Man No Way Home Green Goblin. I couldn't tell you, I was like excited to get this. Um, I missed all the chances in the stores. Luckily, I had it pre-ordered with Hasbro Pulse and uh, I went ahead and pulled that trigger as soon as it was available to ship. So here he is. Um, Excited to get into it. Really excited for some reason. I don't know. The Spider-Man figures were awesome. And uh, this is just going to be icing on the cake. So, let's go ahead and go over the box. As you can see, this is a anniversary box. With the Spider-Man little uh, face logo on the top. Here you see Goblin on the glider. You got, uh, I guess, some artist rendering in the background. On the side, you got the same picture. Just a little closer up. Flip to the back. Here you can see, there's the uh, Willem Dafoe head, the Spider-Man No Way Home Green Goblin body. He's got the cloak and the hood, goggles, pumpkin bomb, there's a mask, the glider, which from the box just looks phenomenal. Uh, it comes with a stand, which is awesome. So I can't wait for that. Bunch of crap down here. There's another shot of uh, Goblin standing up normally. And the bottom, UPC, there's the crap we don't care about. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it and pop him open. Uh, but first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. Alright, so let's go ahead and break out the trusty Dusty, and we'll get him popped open. You see, this might be one of them awkward kind of boxes. I think I've opened one of these since, jeez, probably Vulture. But anyway get in there and get that lip up there we go what's up is there anything on the top or bottom no so this should just pop open there we go all right so anything in there nothing so we're gonna close this back up and put it off to the side and nice uh, coffin kind of style box so let's go ahead and unveil Nice. That looks great. Cool, man. All right, let's get this stuff out. The plastic and cardboard dungeon. I like this, how they set up this box. That's cool. That's like something kind of new. Of course, crap. Man, that's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and take this stuff out. Um, let's try to take the glider out first. Man, that's cool. It's got some size to it. So much better than the last one we saw with the uh, the Green Goblin and Mary Jane two pack with that little, you know, animated style. Just kind of garbage. But that looks slick. Um, I think they could use a little more, a little more a metallic sheen, you know, over the silver gray parts. But overall, it looks great. Got the blades coming off the front. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest out. This is one thing I was super excited for, which is this stand. So it looks like you could do different ways with it, but I'm assuming this is going to be the main way to put it. Make that pop the glider on here so it'll have a nice balance and be up off the ground. So that's cool. That's a major plus. Thank you, Hasbro. All right, moving on. That looks like a new book. No, it came out fairly good. So here is the pumpkin bomb. Very small. See all orange, a little bit of detail on it. You got that green ball of light on the front. Cool. Got all to the side. Green tab. A couple of, I guess, here's a couple of uh, like foot supports for the glider itself. So you can see here's the top where it'll slide the figure's foot in through here. There's a little hole for the bottom of his foot. And you have these areas right here, maybe that, or just this one, to uh, pop into the glider so he can stand on it physically. That's cool. 
guess they're thinking a little better. Next, here is the classic goblin mask. Pretty awesome. You know, it's got that green metallic color. Of course, you got that evil green goblin face. You got them yellow eyes. Slick. There's a socket at the bottom. Uh, nice pointed back of the head. So neat. Debating on one. Maybe doing that in purple, but I doubt it. And let's get to figure out. So about time they released one of these. Here is Willem Dafoe's Norman Osborn, aka Green Goblin. Man, that detail is like something crazy. It almost, the suit kind of almost looks alienish. You know, it has these crazy details and textures all over it. It's pretty wild. He's got a little bit of a belly. It's pretty funny. There's the purple hood. You know, sadly, I wish that purple hood would uh, extend back more so you could wear that goblin mask underneath of it. That'd be super cool. Um, I guess we're gonna have to pop this off. So we'll do that and then I'll go over some articulation on them. So I'll get that popped off first. Slide the head out. And uh, let's go over the hood. Here that is, simple purple hood. You know, the area that put the neck through and pop the head on. Uh, pretty cool. Here is the Willem Dafoe head. And they really knocked it out of the park with this wave. That's striking, striking similarities to you know the actor himself. Great portrait on this. It looks phenomenal. Got that evil grin. Crazy smirk that he has. Socket hole on the bottom. Cool man. Next we'll bring in his goggles. There they are. Nothing major to them. All black. Kind of almost look like the goggles that come with the classified dusty. go ahead and we're gonna put the the goblin head back on here for now I want to see that Let's snap that in there we go so, so I'm assuming this sort of purple shirt he has put it came off um, we'd have to do it when the head was off but it's all good you get the idea head looks pretty good on there the only problem is he's got the uh, flesh tone coming through on his neck that you can see you know, quite obvious and unfortunately that hood is not going to fit on here so that was one thing I was worried about and you know I had my hopes that it would actually go on be able to fit on here with that to make it look even awesome but unfortunately it doesn't but that's okay we're uh, gonna check this figure out anyway so as you saw there is a ball joint and uh, it doesn't look like the next move on here either but you can look forward that far and up that far side to side and you can do a full 360 I'm checking out the shoulders the spider-man had butterfly joints but the green goblin does not however his arms can go up this far and they can rotate full 360 he has a bicep swivel he has looks like double jointed pinless elbows here which gives him some good flexibility down to the hand he has that hinge peg on the wrist to allow to do a full 360 forward that far back that far uh going over some of the details on his arms you know he has this like purple kind of wrap around here right there along with a couple cartridges right there um probably a couple missiles right here on his little uh, wrist bracer gauntlet over to this side you know he's got a purple piece of shield right here and another gauntlet with a couple of Predators style blades on there. So pretty cool. And a few more missiles as well. Um, on the back, try to lift up the uh, ripped purple shirt a little bit to see some of the texture and detail on his back. Um, here's his strap that's coming around. It should be a satchel though. I think that would look a little bit better. You know, instead of the belt, just have the actual satchel hanging over with the pouch right here and his pumpkin bombs in it. And maybe if that opened, that'd be nice, but it does not. On the side, he's got two other cartridges right here. You see the uh, belt and shoulder strap is going to restrict 
the app crunch, but he does have it. There's also this ab swivel right there. There is no waist swivel. But they did give the figure a little bit of a belly. You can see that a bit. Moving down to the legs, um, the figure does have drop legs. You can go forward that far and back that far and out that far. Not that great. There is thigh rotation. Very tight, double jointed, pinless knees. And moving back down to the feet, you have that hinge at the ankle. Go forward that far, up that far, and rocking side to side pivot. So, not bad, kind of neat. So, with that said, I don't know if I want to. You know, leave the goblin mask on or take it off because I kind of like it, but let's go ahead and just pop it back off and uh, see. Could we take that shirt off this way? Yes, we just gotta get that arm up some. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but it will come off. And, uh, just to show you guys so you can get an idea. I'm probably gonna put this back on him and then put the Norman head on to display. And we'll see how it looks. Gotta maneuver it some, but work it around on uh, different things and you can't get it off. There you have it. Get ready to pop the goblin head back on. You know, you got your classic green goblin. Or well, Raimi verse, anyway. So, anyways, alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw this back on. Let's get that arm back up in there. This thing's gonna go on much easier than it was to take off. So, like that. Pretty good. I gotta take the Norman head. I don't know if I wanna use the goggles, but hey, maybe I should. His face fully exposed, so we'll go ahead and take them goggles and throw them back on his head. Slide that strap around his hair, get them pieces lined up, fit them around nice and snug so they're holding on tight. Like that. Pop the head inside the hood, right there, and get this head pop back on just like that. Nice little snap to let you know you're in. And that's that. All right, so we're gonna bring over the pumpkin bomb. And uh, looks like his hand is sort of cuffed to be able to fit that in there, and it fits perfectly. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get his arms kind of posed. Get that hand bent down a little bit so you got them spikes exposed a little more. Kind of like that. Going in like he's ready for it. I'm gonna try to give him like that goofy kind of stance he had, you know, when he's on the glider, just like kind of coming at Spider Man. I don't know how well the feet are gonna fit, so we gotta position them a little bit. But, anyways, we're just gonna and check out these um these little foot pieces here. So, we'll take that, slide it over his foot, and plug that peg up into the heel of the foot right there, something like that. And the same thing for the other side. Slide that foot in. Line up that pig. <clears throat> Would help if his foot was straight again. There we go. So something like that. And now they're on there. Try to lift this leg a little more. And we'll bring the glider over and put him down for a second so we can go over this. You see he's got this crazy little mechanism underneath. You know, a couple of these daggers, missiles, whatever they are on the sides, ready to shoot. And four blades on the front. Of course, these are the ones that killed him in the first Spider-Man. Um, has that, you know, purple accent to it, along with the uh, kind of metallic-looking, you know, gray plastic. It's it's got a metallic, you know, sheen to it, but it's not totally, you know, like chrome or anything. Around to the back, you can see the two jets right here. It's got, you know, two green lights coming out of it. And um, not so much for the fans that you can't really see. And then you just have an opening right there. That would be probably where something is, but that's where the stand is going to go. Uh, you can position this a little more. So if you'd be riding a little wild, you know, coming down like that, it can split down. Or you can put it right back up towards actually one straight piece. Not straight, but, you know, curved. Cool, man. All right, now we'll bring the stand over. There it is. Simple plastic stand, not much to it. Hollowed out. 
got a few different uh, ball pieces on it. So I'm pretty much sure you could just do whatever you wanted with it. I know the proper way is obviously this way. But if you want to set it that way, have it lower or, you know, medium right here or simply high right here. For me, I'm going high. So we're going to take that ball joint at the end of the stand right here and find that socket on the bottom of the glider. And carefully, let me open this so I don't press down on that crack nothing. And uh, kind of pop that in. It's not going to make a snap. But it will fit nice and snug. You guys can see that. That's on there. Alright, so here it is up on the stand. And it feels like a little back heavy. So let me see. Maybe we can spin it some. Let's see if that'll help. Probably not, but no, it definitely can help. That help. It's not going to help either. All right, so we'll just leave it as it was back around the front because I'm sure the weight of the figure that'll be on it will give it a little more balance. So let's bring him in and uh, we're going to try to line up these foot pieces going through the glider here. So just take that peg, plug it in right there, and come over to the second side and plug the second. Let's try to move it a little bit though. Plug the second in right here. And the first one had to come off, so now it actually stayed on. His foot came off. This is tricky. It works, but uh, it's a little odd. You, know, you don't want to lose him on it. I think we got it. Something like that. I'm not entirely happy with the stance. Give him a little more. All right, so here he is. Doesn't seem very stable on there. I mean, very, very wobbly. But what do you expect? I had to position the camera a little higher to actually see him. So he's a bit, you know, taller than I thought it would be. But it looks good. And uh, with this, um, I don't think we can put him on the turntable. So he's just going to be too high. And I don't know if the glider will stand, you know, on its own. But we can try. So plug that back out. So anyways, we have the turntable out and we have the goblin on it. And that's how it's looking. I'm not liking that too much because it's kind of bending out the sides of the glider. And I don't want to do that. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll quickly, you know, put him in this position. And uh, we'll give you some final thoughts. Give me a second to clear this stuff up and we'll be right back with those thoughts. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. All right. So here is the Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man 60th Anniversary, Spider-Man No Way Home from Marvel Studios, Willem Dafoe as Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin. Very cool figure. Um, so you have to excuse him for this, you know, part of the video as he's kind of leaned back on there, but I don't want them front parts of the glider bending up. Uh, it's cool, man. It looks great. Um, the, the details on it are just amazing so much on there it's just it seems like a little too much i think the glider is nice it does have a little bit of flimsy pieces that you know should be solid uh overall i think that's probably one of the you know highlights of this set um next up i would say you know the whole the whole you know cloak and or shirt or ripped hoodie you know it just that looks great that looks so good on him that head is phenomenal you know you couldn't ask for a more a more accurate likeness you know on a portrait to put on a figure Ever. I don't even think, you know, selfie series could match that, but that's pretty amazing. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely cool. If you guys were fans and you want to pick this up and you got it, awesome. If you're wanting it, I'm seeing that the prices are going up a bit. So, um, check them and try to get them quick because they probably will go higher because I don't know if they're going to be do redoing these or not. But, uh, this was a perfect addition, especially to go with the Spider-Man. But, yeah, so, um, I took a minute on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and end it with that. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.